Imagine a civilized 21st century and 120,000 Christians, 30,000 of them children, are held hostage by one dictator. This is not fiction. It's happening right now. On Christmas Eve, 120,000 Christian Armenians in the Democratic Republic of Artsakh were put under siege by one dictator, Aliyev, the corrupt president of the neighboring country Azerbaijan. Ilham Aliyev inherited the power over Azerbaijan from his father, KGB agent Haydar Aliyev, who in turn had control over the country for decades. Armenians were the first nation to adopt Christianity as a state religion in 301 AD. Despite continuous attacks by Romans, Arabs, Turks, and others, Armenians remained in their motherland. Even after the Armenian Genocide in 1915, organized by the Ottoman Empire, where 1.5 million Armenians were massacred, they still stayed living in their homeland. To stop the next genocide by the next tyrant, go to unblockhumanity.com and act now. One of the standout examples of the Armenian commitment to the preservation of their land and culture is the Armenian state of Artsakh, the Democratic Republic of Artsakh. Armenians have been living for more than 3,000 years in Artsakh, which is also known by its Russian-Turkish name, Nagorno-Karabakh. They stayed here even though Soviet leaders literally gifted Artsakh with its 95% Armenian population to Azerbaijan in 1921. And ever since, Armenians have been under constant ethnic cleansing by the Azerbaijani government. In 2020, Azerbaijan attacked the Republic of Artsakh and killed more than 4,000 Armenian soldiers and civilians, after which Russian peacekeepers entered the region and stood between Azerbaijan and Artsakh. After the war, the only connection to the rest of the world left for 120,000 Armenians in Artsakh is a 10-meter wide paved road. No sea, no air communications, no trains, nothing just one single road, which right now is entirely blocked by Azeris. Though the Democratic West, including the USA, France, and Germany, as well as the UN and the EU, started to urge dictator Aliyev to open the corridor, the road still remains blocked. Aliyev's goal of finishing off the ethnic cleansing in Artsakh remains in full force. Freedom House ranks Azerbaijan as one of the most repressive states, and Transparency International ranks it among the world's most corrupt. And yet, Dictator Aliyev, the President of Azerbaijan, and his wife, the Vice President of Azerbaijan, accumulate their wealth by selling Azerbaijan's oil and gas to the Western world. Moreover, they're deceiving Europe by secretly selling them Russian gas. In fact, Aliyev's regime recently signed a contract for buying 1 billion cubic meters of Russian gas. Due to this siege, essential life supplies such as food, medicine, and other necessities cannot reach Artsakh. People are starving, shops are closing, kids are left without food, hospitals stay without key medical supplies. There are constant gas, electricity, and internet cuts due to the lines being interrupted by Azeris. Dozens of people who have been separated from their families since December 12, 2022 cannot return to their homes. Though the people of Artsakh are very strong and stand the hardships, they may simply not survive if the siege continues. But this is the case where we, the people, can bring the change. To see what you can do to unblock humanity in Artsakh, go to unblockhumanity.com and act now before it's too late.